It's time! Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the Brazil Sprint to Glory. Just a little dance for you boys out there. Hey, what's up, man? It's time. Wait, wait, hold on a second. It's time. What was that? Just voice break? It's time for the Sprint to Glory, Brazil. We are here for one of the biggest videos of the year. I know you guys absolutely love the Brazil Sprint to Glories. And it's time now to take one of them upon ourselves and go crazy. We're going to pick a team from Brazil and we're going to put them into the lowest division or whichever division fits them in the English League setup. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and work our way up all the way up season after season, year after year. We're going to build the craziest Brazilian team and have some of the biggest wonder kids included in there and create our own. As you guys know, the Sprint to Glories work this way. Where the rules are set up, we are only allowed to buy players 23 or under that are from Brazil. In the first season, they have to be 23 and under. Uh, Brazil is the only country that we go for. We are not going to be using the Brazilian League because their the licensing is not working over there. So we can forget about that. So we have to just go by nationality. And I'm ready for it. Free Agents and Youth Academy obviously is allowed as well. So let's jump right into it. You, my friend, hit that like button, support the channel, and let's do this. Coritiba is the team that I'm going to go for, guys, because it has the Brazil colors. It's green and it has yellow because of the star. So I'm going to go for that because that's going to look sick on the thumbnail, you know, bruh. And uh, you're going to click on it because of that. But the domestic success is on medium, continental, brand exposure, financial is on high, youth development is on medium. I really hope, even though I think... PC next year is not going to have the next gen features, I think. I'm not too sure from what I've read from the news. So that's a bit of an L. But I was thinking maybe like next year with the modding and stuff, uh, doing these Sprint Glories would be much easier. But I think I'm going to stick to console, guys. Uh, by the looks of things, PC is going to get further and further behind console as the years move on, at least for now, as EA puts more effort into PS5 and the new Xbox uh, to get the casual gamers involved with the game but Korachiba is the team that we take we put them into the championship to the test let's see how it goes Korachiba let's get it on pre-season tournament could get us up to 3.4 million I think that is actually the amount that we have in the budget we start off with 3.76 I'm not going to look at the starting ladder but I'm going to look straight into the club itself and we're going to go after age as always guys we're selling every single player that is above the age of 25 normally at least we try to uh, unless they are super essential to the team but as you can tell uh, the brazilian league is obviously not licensed so these are just weird names with no faces so we're going to put all these guys out there make sure we get rid of everyone that is above 25 and then we're going to rebuild the team and getting rid of the 24, 25 year olds as well as we mean to move on. And the budget of 3.76 is obviously not ideal, but we can start off with that nicely. The first two months, I'm going to spend going through um, basically just this period here, selling players. And then towards the end of August, we're going to start making some big signings, hopefully. Uh, but first of all, youth academy how is our scout looking come on give us a big one give us a big one four star four star get in pal that is huge i don't have to buy a scout i absolutely love that so we're gonna go ahead and send him to brazil Sha -la 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 -la. and you know what we gotta go technically gifted right when you go to brazil you gotta look for technically gifted man if you don't what do you even do with your life uh actually you know what uh, i like defenders i really like defenders from the youth academy and then we can find the... Uh, there's enough attackers when it comes to Brazil in terms of talents. You know what? For the first time, I just go defensive-minded for the first nine months. See how things go. But we should already have someone in the Youth Academy, possibly some good ones. Let's see if we do. Ugh, not really. Not really. There's one kind of talented player, but... Yeah, this is, this is bad. None of these guys actually look good. This guy is great physically, pace-wise as well. Not really the best defender. 
I am not liking anything I'm seeing here. I'm going to get rid of all these guys and get myself some talents that are hopefully around the 60 rating. First transfer offers coming in immediately. Uh, this is I'm getting the tutorials because I'm on, a, on another account because the other one is filled with Sprinter Glories. At one point, I want to do like a Sprinter Glory comparison video. If you guys are up for it, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, also let me know about the next Sprinter Glories you guys want me to do because obviously... I love recording these, so please let me know what kind of ideas you guys can come up with with the Sprinter Glories. It doesn't have to be nations. It can be left-footed only. It can be four-star skiller, five-star skiller only. All that stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. Anjos here, 28-year-old, accepting the offer for him. Abra, 28-year-old, accepting the offer for him. And I literally just realized that we actually have some players that are kind of high-rated. And I haven't even shown you guys the team, so... Let me just jump in there and show you guys the actual team that we have at the moment and the higher rated players because, you know, some of these guys might make it. Who knows? Who knows if we just keep some of these guys? We have Parela here, who is a 20-year-old Brazilian, I believe. Yeah, uh, three-star week for two-star skill moves. Kind of nice, you know, kind of nice. 79 rating is kind of dope to have, so we'll probably keep him for now and use him in that position until we exchange him for an actual real Brazilian player that has a face and all that stuff. But uh, we have some decent options here and the squad size is not too big. So it's easy to get rid of some of the players that we're trying to get rid of. And uh, yeah, let's sign up some some players now so we can get rid of some more later on. So as you guys can tell, the general rating of the team is around the 70 rating. So we're going to try and find players around that rating. It's going to be kind of expensive considering that our budget is not that big, but uh, hopefully we can make the right choices here. Talis Magno is the first player I'm going to go for. 4.9 million release clause, which is basically our entire budget. Uh, not necessarily ideal. A New York City FC player. We're going to try and approach them. I'm not going to pay the release clause. He is around the 67 rating at value at 2.6 million, apparently. We're going to see if we can get him uh, for a swap deal for Hedson Porfirio here. And on top of it, 2 million. This would be a great deal for our team. This guy looks very talented. 2.5 million they want straight up without the player, which I find very odd. But I'm okay with that. 2.2 million for a player who's worth 2.6. I mean, that's not a bad deal to start off with. So Magno actually plays for like the youth teams for Brazil. From what I'm seeing right now on the internet. Which is great. I want to have those types of players in the team. Sadly, doesn't have a face in the game yet. But has high potential. 67 rated right now with great pace. Great dribbling. 5 star skill moves. 4 star weak foot. High attacking work rate. Yo, this guy looks amazing. Let's go. This is such a sick signing for us. That's a big GG, boys. Great start. First signing, already looking class. For the defense, I'm going to go for a player who can apparently play in every single position. It's Riccielli, 21-year-old from Family Sao. I want to sign this guy or Family Cow, whatever it is. Um, we're going to try and approach to buy him since he is such a great all-rounder for most of those positions. Um, could be a little bit of an expensive one, but I'm happy in going after him. We have Sireo here, who's 70 rated, 20 years old. We have Soira, who is a 73 rated player. I think I'm going to offer him in the deal and put on top of it a, a 300k with a sell-on clause as well. See if this is something that they would be interested in. If that is something that they want, we can get it done. There we go. 430k. That leaves us with still... Over 2.1 million at HELE joining into the squad. An offer for the 20-year-old center defensive midfielder, De Freitas. I'm going to keep him. I think I'm going to keep him for now. Sendinho is going, though. Ardaujo, 1.1 mil for the 32-year-old. And for Porfirio, 1.75. I am fine with that. Him going over to Inter Miami. That is going to add a decent budget into our squad. But I do think I might have to buy some players to be able to sell again. Because our squad size might have been minimized to the maximum. And that is exactly the situation. So we have to sign someone right now. We're going to go for a left wing that can also play on the right hand side. Joao Felipe from Savia Prague. 5 foot 7. Actually might be the first player that has a face. So congratulations to him. Uh, we're going to go after him for around 1.4 million, I think. That's going to be the amount that we can probably offer. Uh, see what they say in that case. Hopefully, that is a deal that we can get over the line. 
will be a decent addition into the squad. 1.3, 1.4. There we go. And the deal is done. For striker, we're going to have to spend a little bit, I think. We're going to go after Lincoln, who is a 19-year-old currently playing at Vissel Kobe. Or Kobe, whatever. Uh, we're going to go after him, try and sort him out right now immediately. And then I'll show you the stats of these players in a second. He currently goes for around... How much do you go for, pal? 3.5 mil. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Uh, but I have money. So how about that, chief? Let's go for 2.8 here with a sell-on clause. See if they are interested in negotiating. 4.05. Wow, that's a lot of money for this kid. But I'm going to offer 3.5. Let's meet in the middle. Four. Mm, they're not necessarily negotiating, are they? Uh, let's go for 3.75. I think they're going to say no again. At least I feel like they are. 3.95. All right. All right. That's it. We're going to pay around 4 million for Lincoln. He is 19 years old. He should be around the 70 rating, which is a great rating for our team. But this boy better grow or I'm going to... I'm going to do unthinkable things to him and his legs. I'm going to slight tackle him with both of my legs just in front of me so now the team is sorted at least kinda uh we are looking at lincoln coming in with 75 pace 72 dribbling decent physicality 69 shooting on him uh Fildera's remains in the camp position we use the 4231 formation felipe on the right hand side will be switched to a right winger very soon defense is looking solid midfield is looking good striker cam looks good i'm actually looking to sell parella i thought about it now we can get some good money for this kid, so might as well do it now to then go ahead and bring some actual real-life talents into our team. So, uh, I'm not against it. If we get a good offer, I'm open to selling. The striker that we had so far, Muto, is going to go. He is going for 1.15, and that is a good amount for him. I'm going to go after Luquinha, boys. The center attacking midfield talent from Brazil, who currently plays in Portugal. I want to sign this kid at the moment. He is one of the highest potential players that we can go for. So we're going to go ahead and offer them around uh, 3.6 million. See what they say for Lukinia. Is that something that we'd be interested in? 4.1 million they want. So let's go ahead and offer them 3.9. Get the deal over the line with the 11%. Still 4.1. I'm assuming 4 should be just about perfect here. Come on now. Let's get it done. You know what? You can have the 4.1, man. If you really want it, get it. 4.1 million paid for Lukinia. Great signing for our team. I'll show you why. So Lukinia takes over. 71 rated, 76 pace, 76 dribbling. Good passing. Three star, three star. A lot of these guys don't have the skills, man. They need to learn from Tyus Magno. Learn from him. Watch him in training. Learn his movements and implement them into your game, pals. A massive transfer offer coming in for Parella. And surprisingly enough, they're offering us Joseph Souza, who is a Brazilian in a swap deal i'm not interested in it he's 31 years old but i do want the money so let's get this deal done soon our first ever scat report Ah, uh, come on come on brazil come on brazil you know what looking for defensive minded players in brazil is so dumb it's like looking for ice hockey players in freaking i don't know in the middle of the Sahara Desert. I'm not getting any offers for Parela right now. So we'll have to just go ahead and sell someone else. Um, the goalkeeper is a weird one. Do I sell the goalkeeper? Do I have anyone to buy? Brazilian goalkeeper? Is there someone out there? I mean, there is, but he's kind of trash. I'm looking right now. I'm not going to I'm not gonna sell Brunera. No, he's not going to go. But whoever else brings the most money can go. Apart from that. So Sandinho, 32-year-old. You can go, pal. I'm going to go for a 20-year-old centre-back from Shakhtar Donetsk. It is uh, a player with great potential, Vital. I wanted to get Fuchs. It didn't work out. He was too expensive. So we have to try and sign someone who is still good enough for our team and still very much talented. So we're going to offer Sireo and the deal. I'm going to offer them 2.4 million on top of it. Is that something that you would be interested in? No, they just don't want Sireo. Which I don't mind keeping him as a um, as a backup player. So I'll go for 2.78 for Vital. 2.9. I'll take 2.9. 2.3 million still left in the budget. A great deal for our team to bring in a very talented center back next to Riccielli. 
The team is looking great right now. Scout reports. I went forward two months. The transfer window is done for us. Now we're looking for the talents through the youth academy. And my God, are these bad? Come on, man. Just one. Just one at least. One super talent. There we go. Afonso Machado can play center back, right back. I'll take you on, my man. Thank you very much for joining our team. Our first big talent has come in. 400k for Alex Araujo. I'll take that as well. And the rest is going to leave. Now we have an offer for Parela, which I am going to negotiate. Or 18.5. Yeah, I'll take 18.5. It is going to be a deal for sporting. Parela is going to go. And the next transfer window will be able to make some big, big moves. January. It's our first January 2021. We're here. We get ourselves 16.7 million from the deal of Parela. He is gone. He departs from the squad. And we get scout reports to finish to start things off. 1.4 million. Caio Fernandez, welcome to the team. 83 to 94 potential. That's the way. That is the way. I want to start off into the second half of the season, guys. Great stuff. Already found some very talented players for the defense. So that is very good for our team. And from that point on now, we're going to focus on this transfer window and making the right choices. We have let go of one CDM. We have to find another one for sure. Uh, Fildera's is not ideal for this position. He's not really a CDM. So we'll find someone to play in that position for sure. Vital has gone up to a 71. He started off at a 69. Lincoln up to a 74. Lukinia only plus one. Tales Magno plus three, I think. Joao Felipe with a plus three himself. Uh, Riccielli, I'm not too sure what rating he came in at. I feel like it was like 69 or something. Uh, but yeah, we are looking good. We are looking very good. We are improving. And uh, the team so far has gone into... Ooh, we're in the FA Cup round three. That is actually pretty impressive. But in the championship, we're sixth. We might be fighting for promotion. 50 points on our team. The goal difference is absolutely abysmal. 34 goals conceded. The next team that is as bad in defending is Sheffield Wednesday, and they have 37. So we, we got to do better than that defensively. We are struggling at the back. Maybe it's because we have an old goalkeeper. I don't know. Or maybe it's because we have a 67 rated right back. That could be an issue as well. But we do have the money to spend now, and we're going to spend it on a defensive midfielder, ideally. For sentiment slash CDM, I want to go for another player from Shatyar. Uh, it is Marcos... Antonio, all right. This guy is a centre midfielder, 20 years old. I don't think I used him yet. He looks like a very agile and box-to-box -box type of midfielder. So I'm interested in signing him up immediately for that reason. So let's try and offer a big chunk of money here. It's going to be an 8 million offer with a sell-on clause. See if they are interested in letting him go. They want 10.7, which is a huge amount of money, but it's fine. It's fine. 9.5. Let's keep on negotiating. 10.7 still. All right, then. Let's go ahead and offer them 10. Is that something that you would be interested in, Shahta? That's a nice round number. 10.7 still. Wow, these guys are not negotiating at all. How about 10.3? Come on, man, Shahta. I want this. I'm getting bullied, bro. 10.7. Bought. The deal has gone through for 14.5k, Marcos Antonio. That is going to be a great addition to the squad, guys. Watch, watch what happens. 74 rated. Going to turn him into a right center midfielder for our team. 84 pace, 71 passing, 78 dribbling, 60 defending, and high attacking work rate. He's going to be helping out the team, hopefully getting a lot of assists from that position. And then De Freitas has to defend and do well in that spot by himself. Unless we find a Youth Academy player that can sort him out in that position, we're going to be stuck with these guys for now. But after that deal, we still have around 6 million to spend. So if I want to buy another talent, we're going to do that. But I haven't actually looked into, youth, into the Youth Academy yet. So let's see. We have a 61 rated Machado who has to be signed immediately. Otherwise, he's going to leave our team. Is he better in a different position? I mean... <laughs> He looks like he can do some dribbling, huh? I'm looking at things. 12 weeks for left midfielder. Nah, nah, not really. He's a defender. I think he is. I'm going to keep him as a center back for now. 
We're going to focus on his defending for sure. See how he goes up in that sense. Great pace and great physicality already. So he just needs to focus on his defending and his passing. And he'll be an incredible, incredible center back for us. So he's going to be pulled up to the senior team. Fernandez right here, right back, which is great because we do need a right back. I think he would be higher rated as a center back, but I want to keep him at right back if possible. So let's see if we can grow him fast enough. Caio Fernandez, 16 years old, and then Araujo, another right back who doesn't impress at all, sadly. I am going for Rogerio. All right, 4 million. 5.7. Oh, God, man. It's negotiating for these players has been tough lately. Uh, 5.3, I want to have some wage budget left in the team. 5.4, there we go. A new left back is coming into the team. Rogerio joining from Sassuolo. I believe that is the team that Berardi played for at one time. I don't know if he's still there, but I remember him being there when he first kicked into FIFA and people absolutely loved him as a talent. So Rogerio comes into the team because I feel like Beretta is never going to grow and he's not a real person either, or at least not licensed. So we're going to go after Rogerio with the 76 pace, good dribbling, okay defending, good physicality, a decent addition into the team. Ideally, I wanted to bring in Dodo, the Brazilian right back, but if we do get promoted to the Premier League, Dodo is going to be signing as a right back for sure. That is the position I'm still looking at to improve and the goalkeeper position as well. But slowly but surely, we have turned this team into a team that is ours. That includes players that we have brought in ourselves, the, the Freitas and also Mao and Bruniera, the only three left that were not from us in terms of transfers. I'm sending this scout away again for nine months. This time, we're going to go for technically gifted boys. That is what I want to see from Brazil. I have just sold Muto and I've agreed loan agreements for two of the talents that we have in the youth academy. One of them going to Seattle, the other one going to Cincinnati. They seem to be very interested in Brazilian talents, which I appreciate. Oh, yes. Fabio Ribeiro, first talent, second talent. Oh, no, he left already. Uh, we missed out on a good... Oh, my God. Wow, 1.3 mil. Bro, what is going on here? We're finding some massive talents. Missed out on one of them, which really hurts me, but it's fine. We are now at the end of the season, guys. In case you're wondering what I'm doing right here, we are in May, and we have still two more games to go for. So uh, let me just quickly check some of these players. Sadly, we have lost out on some, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go into the Youth Academy real quick, see how they look. 64 and 62 rated. Wow. That is some amazing stuff. This guy looks quality in this passing. Um, I think he would be better as a left wing, but I'm not too sure. Takes him two weeks to become a right midfielder. Two weeks to become a center midfielder. Hey, you know what? I like center mids. Uh, do I turn him into a center mid? I think I do. He has amazing passing. We're going to turn him into center mid first. Then Ribeiro here, 62 rating. Great stats all around. Any different position for you, pal? Uh, takes him two weeks for right midfield. Doesn't necessarily have the pace, so I don't want to necessarily go after it. Um, could be high rated as a cam, possibly. I'll keep him. I'll keep him as a center mid here. We're going to put him onto a... Uh, onto a development plan here to get some more skills. But two very talented players there. And we are currently fourth with two games to go. Let's see if this team can get promotion or if we have to go through playoffs. It is going to be playoffs, I believe. Oh, yes, it is. We are here against Bournemouth now, guys, in May 2021, our first season. I actually don't want to get promoted. I got to be honest. I don't want promotion yet. I would rather have us stay in the championship. Bournemouth smashes us 4-1 and we won the other game, but that is not enough. We stay in the championship with the fifth position, 86 points. I think that's the right thing to happen in terms of progression for the team. I don't think we're ready for the Premier League at all, but if we go into our team, we can see some beautiful growth. Antonio just joined in January, plus two. Lincoln with a plus six, outstanding. Riccielli plus five, Rogerio plus two, plus three on Luquinha. Brunera, the goalkeeper, has actually surprisingly gone up at his age. Vitao has gone up plus four. De Freitas has gone up plus two. Uh, Tales Magno, exciting prospect, by the way, plus six for him. Filderas with the plus one only. Sireo as well. Beretta as well, just low, but Joao Felipe with the plus five. Absolutely amazing growth on that right wing position. 
Uh, then we are looking at certain others that we might have brought in. Did we bring in any more of these? No, not necessarily. But the youngsters here, Machado plus two, Fernandez plus one. So overall, nice growth in terms of performance. Lincoln, I'm expecting to be up there. 19 and six, beautiful. Bilderas has done really well this season. Talis Magno has done exceptionally well from that left midfield position. Not exceptionally, but has done well uh, in that position. The same goes for Joao Felipe. I'm not expecting a lot of players to go up in potential, but hopefully they will. And hopefully the budget will be good enough to sort out some big transfers for the next season. The right back, right back position is still a spot I want to change desperately and CDM as well to bring in a real player. But Dodo is the number one on my list. And we actually have him scouted. We're just going to have to wait to be able to sign him. He's worth 11 million right now. He is getting further and further away in terms of players that we can actually um, yeah, afford. So... Yeah, it's not looking good, guys. We'll have to try our best. Amaral, by the way, 65 rated as a center mid. I like it. The new season for the Brazilian talents begins with a potential price pool of 4.7 million. And now the question is, has anyone gone up? So, Antonio showing great potential. Lincoln showing great potential. He didn't have anything on him, so that's great. Luquinha as well showing something. Licielli showing nothing, but he's 22, so I don't... I don't I always forget. Does it still show at 22? I don't think it does. Uh, Rogerio not showing anything. Uh, Vital not showing anything. That's a bit of a letdown. Potential to be special. Talis Magno, let's go, buddy. And then we have Joao Felipe not showing anything, which is fine because he's still very low rated. So lots of room to grow. So we go into this season with about how much? How many millions? 9.8 million. As you guys might remember... That is not enough to sign Dodo, who has now gone up to a 76. So definitely is not enough to sign him. This is going to be a bad situation for us in which I have to probably sign someone else for that right back position. I just have to. For right back, we got to go for Jan Kuto. We already used this guy in the Spanish Sprinter Glory, I think. But there's literally not many options for this spot. So we just got to go for him. And maybe down the line, we're able to sign Dodo next year. So Kuto... Starts off at a 65 rating as far as I know. I'm going to go with a 4 million offer. See what they say. He might have grown enough. They accept it straight away. That's not really an ideal situation. I might have put myself into a bad spot here. I'll go after it again in a week. We're going to let go of Fajarta for 1.3 and Sakria for 710k. I'm still not too keen on selling Buriniera, so we're going to keep him for now. Uh, but we got a scat report coming in. The first one of this new season. Maybe we can start off with a massive banger here. If possible, that'd be great. Uh, we do have some players out on loan. This guy looks kind of all right. Good potential. So we're going to sign him up. But the rest of this is sadly not looking too good. Uh, man, I don't know. Oh, 700k. You know what? Don't mind if I do. And the rest we're going to just leave as it stands. But I do want to get uh, the right back that I need. It is going to be Kuto, and I'm waiting. I'm just currently waiting for my scout to come back and tell me how high he's rated. But there that goes for 1.45. Hopefully, we have enough space. Uh, if we do, those transfers are going to go through. Sakrio has been sold, so that's a good thing already. Uh, we have some players coming back in um, asking for certain changes to the squad, which will happen. And immediately, I should now know Kuto, still don't know how high he's rated. Why is that taking so long? I'm going to go into the search player section here and look for him real quick. It takes another 10 days. Wow, that's a long time. All right, then 10 days, we'll see each other. So Kuto is 68 rated. It's not ideal, I'll be real with you. But if he can grow by plus five this season, I'll take it. So I'm glad that I went for the scouting now. I'm just going to go straight up for exactly how much he's worth. See how much they want for him. 2.75 is fine for me. We still have 9 million to spend after this transfer, which is really, really good. But it's not enough to get Dodo. So it is fine for now. But this deal has to go through. And Kuto definitely will be an important player for us. Jean Lucas is the one that I'm going to go for for the CDM position to replace Fretas. That is the deal that I'm going to go after. Maybe we can include him in the deal. That'd be a great, uh, great thing for us. By the way, since the Euros are now fully done, guys, give me your, give me your opinions on it. Like, how do you guys feel about the Euros right now? Obviously. A lot of people are disappointed with how things have gone for England, but a lot of Italians obviously extremely happy with the outcome. Huge congratulations to Italy for the getting it done. 
You guys just know how to get things done in tournaments, man. Uh, even I, myself, as someone from Germany, obviously have felt that pain against Italy. And uh, that goal from Grosso, I think his name was, I'll never forget. But John Lucas is going to join our team as a CDM. 30k for Lucas. That is the deal. He already earns 33k at his team. So I'm happy to offer him exactly what I've offered. He comes in with a great rating into the team. De Freitas or Das Freitas comes out. Lucas takes over on that position. And he looks very solid, very well-rounded. And now finally, the entire team is filled of players that we have brought in apart from the goalkeeper, which we will probably keep for another season until we get that Premier League cash money. We're going to accept offer for Mao and then accepting an offer for Federa. Both players that we're not using in the starting lineup anymore and fill those positions with youth academy players to have players in the reserves. Amaral promoted, Ribeiro promoted, both of them above 60. That's the right choice. 1.45 offer for Fajarda or Fajarda, whatever his name is, and Sireo, an offer for him coming in as well. I don't want to let him go yet. I feel like we can get more money for him down the line. We have a scat report coming in, though. Maybe we can add some more players into what we have going on, but by the looks of things, it's not going to happen. But yeah. Oh, actually, we have one guy. Perfect. Your boy made it to January in 2022. It's the new day, as you can see. By the way, for those people wondering what these things are, it's like to keep my back straight. Uh, I injured my shoulder, so I'm trying to like keep my back as straight as possible. Uh, but yeah, Amaral is going out alone. Ribeiro is going out alone. We have a youth squad report here for the 16-year-old, 59 rated, 87 to 93 potential. We're going to promote him and try and loan him out as well. But in terms of value, what we have going in the team, we have 2.1 million in the club at the moment. It's obviously not a great budget to go with, but... We have some good growth, and that's the main thing that we need to care about. Antonio plus three, Lincoln plus three, John Lucas plus two, Talis Magno with the plus four potential to be special. Lucinia has gone up a little bit. Riccielli has gone up nicely. Vital has gone up nicely. Both of them not showing any potential, so uh, it's nice to see them go up. Rogerio gone up by plus two. Even the 33-year-old goalkeeper has gone up by plus two, so that's great. Joao Felipe with the plus two on that right-hand side as well. Kuto gone up to a 70. And these boys that are out on loan right now, Machado plus three, Hernandez plus four, which is quite nice to see. And then plus two here as well. Ribeiro now just out on loan, plus two. So we have a lot of our youngsters out on loan. I feel like we could maybe turn those guys into some beasts later on. And I just realized... I don't think I looked into free agents at the beginning of the season. So let's do that in January because we can't sa sign anyone anyways. Only one player in the free agents that actually looks exciting is Jorman or Horman Otero. Center back, right back, CDM from Colombia. So South America here, six foot five. Um, looks all right. So we're going to sign him just as a little backup for our team. So the guy comes in with a 66 rating. I wonder if he has any potential on him. Um, that'd be interesting to see. Let's just check it out right here. Let's go to age and see. He is, uh, what is he? At the club since. Okay, sadly nothing on him. That's a bit of a shame. This season is over. And in the month of May, the last match we won. Are we getting promotion? Yes, we are. Only a two point gap though to Brighton who came down from the Premier League into the championship in the last season. And now, they failed to get direct promotion. So unlucky, guys. But Koritiba is here to stay. And actually, not here to stay. Here to go up with a worse goal difference. We haven't scored as many. Newcastle first place with 106 points on them, which is pretty impressive. But I want to see who has performed the best for us this year. Lincoln, 20 goals. Joao Felipe, 22 goal contributions. Thales Magno, unbelievable season for him. Nearly 30 goal contributions there. Marcos Antonio did well. Luquinha did well. Uh, Jean Lucas from that CDM position has done well. 16 clean sheets on him. Uh, actually, 18 on Luquinha there. Riccielli with the 18. Vital with the 19 there. So the team has done well this season. I'm pretty happy with how things have gone. Let's check out the pluses. Plus four, five, seven. Seven. My God, this kid is insane. Uh, plus four, 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 three, four. That's good. I like that a lot. Even the 34-year-old going up very nicely. Joao Felipe got that plus four this season as well. Hopefully, we can see some 
potential changing for him next year because he has had a decent year for sure. Uh, second best player in our team, so I'm really hoping with the 7.1 average rating that he can get a higher potential. Lincoln with the 7.1, 7.2, 7.0. So these four probably getting the best ratings. And then we have Silva doing well with the 7.0. Rest 7.1 on the goalkeeper. Okay, apparently it's important. The average rating apparently decides um, if the dynamic potential goes up or down. That's something that a lot of people have been telling me. So we'll see if that is true or not. But we are up into the Premier League. And I cannot wait to spend the money. Especially... As you guys might remember, this kid right here, I want to sign him 18.5 million. Hopefully we can sign him for around 20 next season. Should be working out, improve that defense massively and get kick started for the next year. Hopefully at least 50 million in the budget in the Premier League. It was the right thing to happen to us that we didn't make it through into the Premier League immediately. Now we had enough time to grow and we are kind of prepared for the Prem and hopefully we can survive in there. 7 million in the preseason tournament. Not actually too bad, you know. But here's the question. How much money will we earn from the actually important Premier League season? 44 mil. So it's not quite 50 that I expected. But 44 million is definitely enough to make big changes. But at the same time, the potentials. All right, here is the time to see it. Talis Magna has kept it. Very nice. Exciting prospect on Lincoln. Showing great potential in Lukinia. I think with a good season this year, he can actually go up even more. Vicieli will never know. Vita will never know as well. Uh, Rogerio, nothing showing there. Joao Felipe not showing anything. We might have to change him up. That could be a thing. Fildedas has submitted a transfer request, which is totally fine for me. Kuto has nothing on him. And uh, showing great potential on Fernandez. How about the other lads here? The other youngsters showing great potential in Dos Santos as well. He was an exciting prospect. So we'll see <laughs> what happens this season. But first of all, I want to get Dodo immediately. So for Dodo, I'm going to go straight with an offer of 20 million and 10% sell on clause. See if Brighton is interested. He plays in a championship right now. They won 28.7. How about I offer you Fideras? He wants to leave. So let's go with 25... 25.5 plus Fildeiras. Is that a deal that they'll be interested in? No. Hmm. I'm a bit disappointed now. How about 26.5? Come on, Brighton. Championship needs this money. <sighs> They're not even negotiating. Uh, last offer. 27.5. Come on, I'm trying to drop it a little bit. Make it happen, man. What the hell? You know what? I need him desperately. And he's going to grow even more, so... The transfer has gone through 28.7 million, the most expensive player so far that we have brought in into Coritiba. Brazilian right back Dodo is ready to go. So Dodo coming in with those special stats right now. 91 pace, 77 dribbling, 72 defending, 73 physicality. The pace is already there. The dribbling is already there. We'll just focus on the defending and the physicality and upgrade him as fast as possible. Now the defense is actually much more solid. If possible, I want to bring in a goalkeeper. Um, I want to get rid of the old man and try and find someone for that position. And also, we got to check free agents. There could be some big ones in Season 3. I did find some free agents. We have Bottinelli here, who looks like a decent uh, goalkeeper. We have Bava Shinyashiki, 76 defending on him. Uh, how is delegating work here? So we just start the offer at 2k, right? And we don't go higher than what? 5k i guess i'll just do that on all these guys see if that works i never delegate in this situation but maybe it is worth it in this case because i do want to get all these guys in i'm not looking for uh i'm not scouting anyone anymore just so you guys know i am only gonna be going for free agents and the signings that we can make off the bat so here we go all four trying to be signed. Messina accepted. The rest didn't. So we offered way too low. Got to try again for those guys. Filderas leaving the team for 3.1 million. Couldn't use him in a swap deal. So got to use him here. So there we go. The other offers have been accepted as well. 7.3k and 11k for those guys. Let's check out their ratings. We see Messina at a 67. Shinya Shiki at a 70. Botinelli at a 71. Really good signings for our team. I might not have to sign a goalkeeper. We're just building up Botinelli from now on. For right midfield, we got to get rid of the guy that we have right now because he has no potential on him. So we got to go after Paulinho, who can play Cam and also 
in that right midfield position where he doesn't actually necessarily lose any rating. So that's great. Contract expiring as well. Oh, this is what dreams are made of. Let's try and sign this kid up. He should be expensive. He should be pretty expensive, actually, at this stage. He starts off at 6.5 mil. I'm assuming he's above 20 million right now. We're going to offer them our main man, Joao Felipe, here with, I don't know, how much do I offer? Maybe maybe, four, maybe, maybe 12, 13. Let's see what they say with a sell-on clause. Uh, are they going to be interested in this or not? 17.8 day one for him. It's definitely below his value. I'm pretty sure this is going to be below his value. So... Let's go ahead and offer 15.7. Try and drop the price down a little bit more. 16.3. I'm I'm open to accept that. Let's go for 16. Is that a deal you want? Let's go. Leverkusen has to let go of Paulinho for 16 million. I'm pretty sure he's worth more than that. And then we just sell our uh, current right winger. So Joao Felipe goes out. Paulinho comes in. He takes over that right wing position. And with that, we now actually have a better bench, I guess you could say. Uh, we have Bottinelli as well, who is ready to take over from Bruniera whenever the time comes. I am going to try and grow as much as possible. But um, it's looking good. It's looking good right now. We are getting better. In terms of the build of the team, we are getting better. Uh, lots of upgrades on that right-hand side specifically, and I think it will help us a lot in this season. Loan offers flying in for the lads now that I'm trying to keep high in their potential, so... Uh, this is what we're going to try and do uh, to make sure that our team is looking good for the future. Vital offer for 19 million. I'm not 480 sticking around. Paulinho change into right wing. Stays on the same rating, but only 12 weeks to go up. He has already gone up. And uh, I think he's going to be quality for us, man. I think he has done well already. We are going towards January right now as things stand, guys. And you can see some nice growth in the team. Just got to quickly change that to right wing. Bang. There we go. And the team is sorted. Nearly everyone above 80 soon. I love that. January 2023. Third season. How's it going in the Prem? Our first season in the Premier League. I'm excited to see where we're standing right now. I haven't even looked into it because I want to get surprised myself each time. Ninth. That's good. I'll take that, guys. I mean, it's kind of far away from the top six. So European football will probably not happen for us next season. But... At the same time, I'm actually impressed. I'm impressed. It's not bad. The goal difference is kind of bad, but it's okay. It's okay. And now let's take a look at the growth within the team. So we're seeing a plus three there on Thales Magno. He's now the highest rated player in the team, which he should be. Um, we have Marcos Antonio only plus one, two there, two again, three for Dodo who just came in. That's outstanding. Vital has, has gone up. Jean Lucas has gone up. Riccielli only plus one. Paulinho plus one. Rogero has not gone up, which is a shame because he's actually quality. Normally, fullbacks do really well in growth. Uh, Bruniera, 34 years old. Still a plus two on him. Plus two on Joao Felipe as well. After the signing of Paulinho, he seems to do well as a substitute. So congratulations to him. And then for the other lads, Bottinelli plus one. Ribeiro, plus three out on loan. Plus one there. Another plus one. And one there. And then Machado with the one as well. And Dos Santos finishing it off with plus four, which is great to see. So uh, we are we are doing all right. I think we have set ourselves up well, but we need a lot more money to make the big steps into the high, high potential players. We have not signed a single one of them yet. We have created our own, but we have not signed a single one of them yet. So we got to do well this season, get some cash in. If we can make top six, that'd be outstanding, but I kind of doubt it. The last month of the year, guys, and we have two L's, a bunch more draws and an L. There's no way we made it into the top six. Maybe not even top 10. Actually, we made it into the top 10, which I'll take. I'm not happy with it, though, because I feel like it's going to affect our team negatively. And a lot of players might not be going up in potential and even going down due to the bad performances. But at the end of the day, a negative goal difference shows us that our defense has to improve. 49 points at the end of the season. In terms of growth, I mean, all right, we only have, what, three players below the 80 rating now, which is a positive to take out of this game, uh, out of this season, I would say. So Riccielli, Rogiero, and also Bruniera, those t those three players are definitely ones that we need to have to look at and see if we want to change that next season. Hopefully, with, good, with a good budget, we can do that. So I am hoping that, that can work out for us. But individually... Uh, certain players might have had a, an outstanding season. Uh, so here you can see the growth. 
plus fives, fours, and threes overall. So really good stuff. Paulinho coming in plus three for him. So that's good to see. Hopefully he can keep it up and become one of the, high, one of the highest rated players in our team if possible. The players out on loan have done well for themselves and the lowest rated one has done the most. Gone up to a 66 rating. I'll keep on loaning these guys out just to make sure we get some performances out of them away from home. 14 goals in the Premier League for Lincoln, which is not too bad for his first season. 6.8 average rating there. 6.6. .6. Anyone around the 7? Absolutely nobody. Yeah, nobody getting anything above the 7. So I don't think potential is going to be effective at all. Um, it's going to be a tough season next year. We need some big money to make things happen. Top 10 could get us a decent amount of money, but I'm probably expecting like, what, 20 to 30 mil? That's not going to be enough for us to make any big moves, I think. New season begins with 8.8 .8 million and Honey Melon cut together. I love it. I don't even know if it's called Honey Melon in English. It's it's called Honig Melone in German. So I love that, by the way. Low calories, sweet, and makes your stomach feel full. Anyways, new season begins with 35 million, actually. A little bit more than I expected, but still definitely not good enough. Uh, maybe good enough to make to make one big signing, I think it could be. Uh, potential to be special. Doesn't show anything anymore since he's too old. And then, yeah, no one is showing anything anymore. Bruniera is retiring at the end of the season. Bottinelli has to get up there and play for us. I got to make sure that this kid is happy with his contract because we need him to play. So Bruniera, we're going to put you onto the transfer list. Uh, I don't think... Can I sell him? I might be able to sell him in this transfer window. But uh, yeah, we have certain players out on loan coming back. Showing great potential on Chinyashiki. Messina, nothing on him. Machado, contract expiring soon. Let's just fix that real quick. Let's get this boy to show us his potential if he has any. Nope, has nothing. That's great. Great potential on Dos Santos. Still way too low rated though to be considered for our team. It's not looking good right now. It is not looking good. 35 million to make some changes. I'm not kidding. This might be the best bunch of free agents I've ever seen in a single season. Look at this list and look at all the greens in their stats. It's actually out outstanding to see. By the way, this guy has a very unfortunate name. So uh, that's cool. But he has amazing stats. Uh, same goes for this lad right here, who is not Messi's regen for once. Uh, he's a right wing slash left wing. So I don't think he's the regen. Uh, but we have some outstanding talents here, which are all going to be signed. Yep, let's do it. I moved forward a few days. I'm going to sign everyone that is basically above 3 million, guys. That is what we're going to do. So Hoyos is going to be signed. Uh, Beerman is going to be signed. This guy is going to be signed. Luna definitely will be signed. He will be and he will be as well. Good stuff. What are the ratings they're coming in at? 69 uh 70 71 68 69 and 73 good stuff man very very good stuff for the future a lot of these guys i'll try and loan out i'm gonna try a deal here which uh, i don't know i feel like i've used paulinho in a sprint to glory this year so because of that i've just had the idea to go after someone so the someone that i want to go for is martinelli uh the guy's super talented 47 million is what he's worth right now and if you want to sign him at any point, this is the time to buy him because later on, we'll probably won't be able to afford him. So Paulinho has a 31 million price tag on him. We're going to offer that along with 25 million. I, I don't know if this is a great idea, but I do want Martinelli. I do really want him. They just want 36 million straight up with Paulinho, obviously. Um, 32... This is a lot of money, man. This is a lot of money. 31 mil. Come on, let's negotiate. They accept it. 31 million plus Paulinho for Martinelli. Martinelli with the higher potential. Martinelli, a player that I haven't used yet this year. It's going to leave us with absolutely no money left, but we have to sell some players, so it's fine. So Joao Felipe, once again, it's sent to the Gulag. He goes down here. Uh, Martinelli coming in with that 83 rating. Great pace on him. Great shooting, uh, good passing, dribbling, physicality. All of it looking very good for us right now. Just got to switch him up to a right midfielder. Or uh, we just switch up Talis Magno to a right midfielder. So whoever plays over on that side, it probably makes more sense to keep Martinelli on that left hand. Actually, no. Talis already has the five-star weak foot. We'll keep him there. 
Martinelli has to turn into a right midfielder. Guys, we are now in January and things are looking absolutely abysmal. We are 13th. Man, I thought maybe this season would be the one that we go up, but uh, into the top six. But <laughs> we're far away from that. It's looking terrible at the moment. Minus seven goal difference. Ideally, I should have spent the money on, on the center back. But the thing was, the Martinelli deal, later on, I can't afford him. Uh, I needed him right now. So our attack is outstanding. Our midfield with Marcos Antonio is great, but the defense is just very, very bad. And I think it really comes down to the goalkeeper. The issue is in Brazil, you don't really have many, go many good goalkeepers, like the highest rated, highest potential goalkeeper that we have here. I'm going down the list right now. Is only coming in at... Oh my God, this is taking a long time. I'm scrolling. I'm still scrolling. I actually have to go to the next page. The best goalkeeper is Gabriel Brazao, 66 rated with 78 potential. What's the point? <laughs> I have to find someone absolutely amazing. And I should have looked into that earlier to find a youth academy goalkeeper. That is kind of my fault. So everything is on the shoulders of Bottinelli performing. And he has only gone up by plus one. And we have zero money. I have to sell players. At the moment, we see some players go up in stats, which is great. 287s in the squad. Uh, some of the higher rated players are going up, while some others are kind of stuck, which is a bit disappointing, especially these two. Very annoying. Uh, Rogerio has not gone up since years, I feel like. And we have listed up Joao Felipe and De Freitas, or Das Freitas, for uh, transfer to get some cash into the club because I have no money for the uh, wages in our club. Ribeiro out on loan doing well. Bava doing well outside. Ninkovic has gone up plus two, so that's good. This guy has gone up plus two. Amaral plus one. Fernandez plus one. Biermann has gone up for uh, plus two there. And then Dos Santos out on loan still. Cabrera out on loan. Silva out there. We are just trying to make these guys better so we can get some cash for them in the future. So things are not looking good. This is one of the toughest uh, sprint to glories at this moment in time because of that defensive issue. So I have to sell some players, first of all, and then I have to fix the contracts because I could lose out on some big players here. There we go. Finally, the offer's coming in. Kuto, accepted. Machado, short loan, uh, short loan accepted as well. Hopefully, we can let those guys go and get the money for some wages. Joao Felipe transfer offer for 12.4. I just have to let him go. It's fine. That is going to be the money that we need to fix things. The season has come to an end. And by the looks of things, we have turned it around a little bit. Just a little bit. We might be within the top 10 again, but that, not, that might not be enough. We are 12th. Man, this was a terrible season. I'm just happy that our manager rating is not that low. 86 is actually quite fine. And uh, that's okay. They didn't expect us to do too much anyway. So finish mid-table, it was realistic. We have 30 million finishing the season off with. And now when it comes to the ratings, 89 rated Thales Magno, soon to be the first player above the 90 rating for us, hopefully. Lincoln has gone up nicely. And they are also still very, very young. 21 years old, 23 years old, 23 years old here as well. 86 on both of these lads. 85 on Lukinia. Dodo has gone up nicely. Vital finally going up plus one. Same with Lucas. Riccielli with the plus one. Rogerio still stuck on that rating. Luna plus five out on loan. Exceptional growth for the Argentinian. Not Messi's regen again. Bottinelli has gone up. Hopefully can see him keeping on going up because I do not want to look for a new goalkeeper. It's going to be tough for us if we have to. Ribeiro with the plus three there. Still showing great potential. De Freitas still not left the team. Plus five on him. That is great. Ninkovic with the plus three. Plus two. Plus two. Plus one. Above 70 though. All of these guys above 70. So that's really good stuff for us. Minus three on the old goalkeeper. Biaman has gone up to a 72. Dos Santos plus four. Cabrera plus three. Overall, pretty excited about how things are going. Hopefully a lot of those low knees will come back next season with higher potential. That is the goal that we have gone after. Lincoln with 21 goals, four assists. Martinelli with 10 goals and one assist. Marcos Antonio has done well for himself with 15 goal contributions. But overall, it's not looking too good. While Luna had three goals for Leicester. Congratulations to him. So on the average rating, only Lincoln with the 7.0. So we could see him become a potential to be special player. Ribeiro, I don't know if he will. That'd be great though if he could. He has a 7.0 there as well. So... 
it, it was an okay season. I mean, I'm not I'm not satisfied. I thought we'd have a better season than last year, but we didn't. And that just showcases us. We have to spend big next year. And I really, really desperately hope that they give us a decent budget. More than 35 million for sure. If anything, I need at least 50 million to make changes to that defense. And that's going to be the most important thing. We got to focus on our defense. The attack is good enough now. And yeah, we got to spend big. 9.1 million preseason. Never won it. <laughs> so I don't expect to do it this season. But man, come on with this defense, with this attack, we got to do something. We got to do something. Something has to happen this year. We get 56 million. Okay, I can work with that. I can definitely, definitely do some damage with that. We got to we gotta change up the defense, man. There has to be some big players coming in, and that is exactly what we're going to do. Now, I am interested to see how many of these players are coming back from loan and how many of them actually have some potential boosts. Uh, because if they do, we're going to keep on loaning them out and making sure that they get some play time and keep on going up in their ratings. So here we go. We have Martinelli unhappy with his contract. Got to fix that real quick. 135. He's happy now. Um, but where are these kids now? Where are they? Bottinelli. Uh, he is 78 rated now. Only 21 years old. I think we're going to keep him and grow him as, long, as much as we can. Luna coming back. Potential to be special. Come on, son. That's great to see. Ribeiro still stays same. Ninkovic, exciting prospect. Great potential on this man. I'm never going to say his name. Fernandez with the great potential. He's still out on loan. Messina loan listed. Showing great potential of Beerman. Exciting prospect on Dos Santos. Let's go. All right. So some of them have definitely worked out. Might be some of our most successful loaning out uh, that we have done so far. So I'm very happy with that. But going into the season, a lot of players want new contracts. I'll sort that out. Then after that, I'll go into free agents and see how things are going. A couple of uh, center backs have now been put onto the transfer list. Militao would be the most expensive one with 63 million. Luis Felipe is 27 years old and he's worth 49. Then we have Gabriel, who is 26 years old and worth 46 million. So for me personally, he seems like the best option. So we're going to try and sign the Arsenal center back. Uh, while also swapping uh, one of our center backs over. Riccielli plus 40 million in this deal. Let's see if they are interested in that. It's a big deal for us if we can make it happen. Then they accept it. I will take that. I honestly didn't think they would. Uh, that is a great deal for us. I know it's worth a lot of money, but we just have to do it, guys. We need to improve this defense, and this is a big way of doing so. By the way, only after like three hours of recording, I've realized that I can turn everything green for the Brazil theme. Well done, Johnny. I think the plan is set for this season, guys. Since we don't have any money left right now, I am going to try and grow um, the the guy named Luna, uh, the potential to be special lad. We're going to try and grow him this season and then sell him in January for a good chunk of money to keep on improving the defense. Left back is needed desperately and we'll focus on that. Okay, halfway through the season and my manager rating is actually pretty bad. 66 is not good. They want us to finish in a Europa League spot and we're nowhere near there at the moment. We got to get into the top six, five points off of it. And Spurs is somehow dominating the league for a couple of years now. So GG's to them. But we have... Gabriel going up, Dodo going up, Botinelli going up, Rogerio even going up to that 80. Talis Magno hitting that 90 finally. That's beautiful to see. So uh, he is already one of the world's best. Hopefully Lincoln can get there as well. He has a plus two already this season. Martinelli, I'm expecting to get to at least an 89 this season as well. But let's just quickly look at um, Luna, who has gone up to an 80. So he's going to be added to the transfer list we're going to be looking for some transfer offers for the kids hopefully we can get some good money for him he should be worth at least at least 40 million there we go that's a really good amount if we can get 50 plus million for him that's going to be great if we can do the same for some of these guys as well i'd be very very satisfied with that so i'm going to put this guy onto the transfer list as well we've had some really good growth on these lads and we're going to use that to our advantage uh, this guy's an exciting prospect at the moment, so uh, he could be going for a decent amount of cash as well. So we're going to put him onto the transfer list. So some big moves could be coming in in January. Let's hope it does all work out exactly the way I want it to be. So let's see. Let us see. There they are. De Freitas for 10 million. Accepted. Amaral for 7.5. Accepted. These are some really good deals for us, guys. We just got to go through them as quick as possible. And Messina is going to go out on loan, which is fine with me. 
He's pretty unhappy at the club at the moment. There they are. Ninkovic, 28.7. Accepted. Luna, 58.4. Accepted. And now we're going to go ham and finally improve the team big time. These free agents have helped us out big time. Also, I didn't even look through free agent this season. I forgot again. I'll do that real quick. I feel like each year at CDM specifically, when it comes to Brazil, there's not many options, guys. And it's kind of disappointing. Asunção is the one that I want to get in. There is Guimarães as well, but Asunção is just younger and has more potential. So I'm going to go after him. He's only 24 years old at the moment. He has a release clause, which I'm not willing to pay. I'm going to offer them 40 million. See what they say. Uh, I would like to get him in. Actually, hold on. We have a player swap on the cards here. We can offer Lucas plus 20 mil. Is that something that you want? Come on now. Let me get Asunção. They want Lucas, which is perfect because I want to get rid of him uh, to make sure that Asunção gets all the playtime in the world. 29 million plus Lucas. 32. I'll accept it. There we go. The deal is done. Lucas is gone. Never grew. So disappointing. But it's fine. Asunção is here now. It's time for the one and only. Yes, it is time. Let me show you. There's only one guy that can improve this team on that left back position, and it's Renan Lodi. 26 years old, currently at Manchester United. Worth a lot of money, but I'm going to try it. All right, let's see. 60 million is worth. We have 67 million to offer. But at the same time, I want to get rid of Rogerio. All right, we're going to give them Rogerio and 60 mil. That's the deal. That is the deal that I'm going to offer. United, can you please let him go? Yes, I could have probably offered less, but you know what? I don't care. I wanted to make sure that I can get him this season. This is going to be the biggest transfer for sure. That improves our team by a plus six in that left back position. And with that, our team now should be able to challenge for the Europa League. And there we go. The team is set up. Aston saw it. CDM with some decent stats on him. Definitely improvable very quickly. Only 24 years old. Lodi only 26 with amazing stats on him. So uh, now I feel a lot more confident about this season. The goalkeeper position is the only one where we're kind of in the faith of Bottinelli. Let's see how it goes with him. But I am excited for the rest of the season now. We are actually going into the FA Cup final against Fulham. I mean, surely our first trophy, Brazil. Brazil. Sha -la 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 -la. Yes, lads, we have done it. It is done. We have beaten a team in the finals. And that, I think, puts us into Europa League. Because eighth position in the league is not good enough. But winning the FA Cup, I'm pretty sure, puts you into the Europa League. And that is huge. We were a few points away. Four, four points away from Aston Villa there. Not ideal. Uh, 82 points at Manchester City. It's looking like a quite competitive season overall in each season that we go into. City had 13 draws. That is outstanding. Uh, a huge number of draws. 23 wins out of 38. Congratulations to them for winning the title. But now it's time to take a look into the team. Here we go. 92 rated. This guy just does not stop. One of the earliest players that we have signed into the club has gone up to the 92. Martinelli. Now, 89 rated, submitted a transfer request. You have to be kidding me. Oh, that's so disappointing. His contract is totally fine. I don't understand why he wants to leave. That's so disappointing. Genuinely super disappointing. And he's only 23. So we'll have to replace Martinelli with someone else. I'll see. Thankfully, there's plenty of wingers that are eligible for us to go ahead and sign. So I might as well sign one right at the end of this season. So we'll see that in a second. Lincoln has gone up to an 89. Great. Uh, Lodi to an 87. Marcos Antonio, 87 as well. Beautiful. Gabriel has gone up. Luquinha has gone up. Has been here for all this time. Only 24 years old. Dodo is looking all right. Asunção has gone up a little bit. Vital plus one. Botinelli only a plus one. Hopefully can go up even more next season. This guy has gone up loads, which I love to see. So that is great. We're going to get some good amount of money for him next year. And uh, yeah, overall, the lads out on loan, Cabrera plus four, Shinya Shiki plus two. Anyone else out on loan? Messina still out on loan, hasn't grown. Solid. But uh, I'm happy overall with the growth in terms of performance. Lincoln, 29 goal contributions. Talis Magno with the 25. Martinelli doing just about all right. 38 games played. He's not happy with the team's performance, I'm assuming. So he wants to go somewhere else where he can win things. 
So, how about we go for someone that would fit into our team immediately? Rodrigo. He is currently out there at Manchester City. I'm going to try and approach to buy him. If I can make this happen, this would be very, very nice for us. So, Martinelli, you want to go? You go, pal. Here you go with a sellout clause. I don't even care. Is this swap deal possible? No. Well, that is a shame. 11 million preseason and for the full season, 16 million in the budget. Uh, I got to sort out the Martinelli situation. It's it's a little bit of a tough one, really. I don't know what, what to do here. He has submitted a transfer away from the club. I'm going to try and develop him, grow him a little bit more to get some more money out of him. But yeah, that's not going to happen. He's going to be staying at that 89. And that puts me into a weird position. It really, really does. So if I get any good offers, we'll have to try and negotiate for now. We are hopefully going to be in that Europa League qualifiers. I'm, I'm assuming we are going to be. So let's see what happens with transfers and everything. The new season begins with two bangers. The regen of Modric and Messi finally are here. So that should help us monetarily for the future. So that's good. We'll sign those two lads and I'll decide if I want to sign these guys as well. I'll probably sign the 18 year old uh, Morenta Oliva here, but the rest I'll probably just leave in here just to go after the big boys. I mean, look at that team right now, man. The starting lineup looks great. The bench looks amazing. We got some really, really good players right now. And now we should attack the top of world football. I can see it happening. But first of all, got to sort out that Martinelli situation. Inter. Martinelli to Inter. For some reason, I can see that happening. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get the cash that we want. 150 mil. Come on. Coritiba losing out on Martinelli for 150 million. The deal has gone through. Now we got to replace him. It's so sad. I wanted to keep him. Vinicius Jr. The only real replacement for the man that we have just lost out on. So let's see what we can make happen here. 140 million for the Real Madrid left winger with a sell on cars, a little bit of on top of it. Is that going to be something that they're interested in? They want 208 million. All right. Calm down, Real Madrid. Uh, how about 175? Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to offer you 175. I'm going to offer you 170. Let's make this deal happen. They accept it. So, Zinedine Zidane is letting go of a 90-rated Vinicius Jr. It is an upgrade on Martinelli, so I am happy. January 2026, and we are second with only two points to Manchester City as things are standing right now, guys. Pretty happy with that. Uh, hopefully, the team can keep up the performances. We need to qualify for Champions League no matter what. And if we can win the Premier League on top of that, that would be outstanding. But I don't think our defense is high rated enough. Uh, the issue is Vitao is stuck at that 82. Bottinelli is stuck at that 81. And I don't really necessarily have the money to go out there and spend it to bring a massive improvement into the team. So I'm kind of stuck with the players that we have at the moment. Even though I would love, I would absolutely love to go out there right now and buy myself, I don't know, either Militao, Luis Felipe or Ibanez, any of these guys. And yeah, it's just not possible at the moment. We just have to wait and that waiting is what hurts our team. Bottinelli still at that 81. That is probably the biggest issue. But Talis Magno, 94. Lincoln, 91. Vinicius Jr., 91. Lots of positives, but it, it, it's tough out here. I need that cash money to go ahead and make the changes as soon as possible next season. And I should have thought about the goalkeeping situation earlier on, man. I didn't believe that it would be this tough to find a decent goalkeeper. I thought there were some decent Brazilian goalkeepers out there. But yeah, as you can see, it's not like that. But hopefully, we have made it through into the Europa League uh, knockout rounds. Because that is very important to us as well. Since we qualified for it. We are in there against Braga. A Portuguese team is going to have to try and stop us. At least we can communicate with them. Both teams speak in Portuguese. By the looks of things, we are failing massively to try and challenge for the title, guys. And there is no Europa League in May as well. So that tells me we have bottled it with two draws against Braga. Come on. At least we got Champions League football. Okay, I'm happy with that. We're joint second, basically. I mean, not technically second, but we have 81 points just like Spurs. Man City have just run through everyone. Um, ah, goal difference is good. I like that. Goal difference is very good, which kind of tells me that hopefully Bottinelli gets a potential boost because this guy's still stuck at 81 and it's doing my head in. Vital somehow has gone up to an 83 now all of a sudden, so that's cool. 
But for the highest rated players in our team, 95 rated, 92 rated, 91 rated, 89 rated Lodi there. Antonio has gone up by plus one, plus two for Luquinha. Gabriel with a plus one, Dodo with a plus one. This team needs to win it all next season because some of these guys are getting old and I don't like it. So we got to be very careful with this. I think we have done well statistically. Lincoln has 31 goals and three assists. 30 goals on Vinicius Jr., eight assists on top of it. Talis Magno has 30 goal contributions. Luquinha has 18. So the team has done well. Antonio with 14 assists. So overall, it looks like the, pl the players have performed really well. I mean, I've seen a lot of 7.0s or above in terms of the average ratings. So hopefully, hopefully, this is going to help us moving forward. Even the goalkeeper has 7.1. So that could be huge. That could be very big for us because I need him to go up to at least an 85 next season because this, this ain't going to continue this way. We ain't going to win any titles if these boys at the back don't improve. But Vital has to go next season. Thankfully, he has gone up so we can use him in a swap deal. I'm going to fix contracts. And I'm going to see how things go, but I'm glad that we made it through into Champions League football. That is going to give us a big chunk of money. I'm expecting at least 100 million in our budget next season. This has to be the one, man. This has to be the one. It's season seven, boys. We got to step it up. And our goalkeeper definitely has to step up his game. He has gone up to an 82, though. So I'm going to just quickly check on him. How long does the development plan take? There we go. 17 weeks. That's much better. I'm, I need to see him at least at an 84. At least at an 84. That's exactly what I want to see. Uh, once his form gets to excellent, it should take him less time. But uh, that's a good, good sign for us uh, initially going into this season because it was like 49 weeks or something before that. So, money, 153 million. Let's go crazy. Let's go ahead and sign the highest rated one that we have available to ourselves here. Eder Militao with the 87 rating. I need the best of the best. And I want him now. 104 million. Hmm. Okay. I want to give you 95. All right. Come on then. He's older. Come on. Let it make it happen. Ah, you know what? I got the money. 105 million for Eden Militao. I got too impatient there. 87 rated. That is going to be a big boost to our team. I didn't let go of Vital because I want to keep him as like a backup uh, potentially. So uh, that's the deal. But Militao is going to join into our team. All right, I'm not happy with the fact that Asunsao is stuck at that 83. We're going to go after this man right here, Bruno Guimaraes. Initially, I wanted him, but then I thought, okay, he doesn't have the high potential. Apparently, Asunsao is stuck. I don't know what it is, though. I feel like it's because the team is not necessarily outperforming uh, themselves because of that goalkeeping position and that defense. We're getting a lot of uh, bad results, and that causes these players not to have the best uh, ratings. So we're going to go ahead and offer them uh, Asunsao in this deal, Kovacevic is already worth more, so might as well just focus on him. Uh, but we have Asunsao coming in here into this deal, and I'll give you, what, maybe 14 mil on top of it. This kid is a little bit younger, so... Oh, they want 34 million on top of this deal. That is a bit crazy, if you ask me, but I'll offer you 28. Let's see. I just want, I just want Gimarish. Uh, I'm going to get him no matter what. So I'm just basically negotiating for nothing right now. Uh, but sometimes you got to do that. Is that, is this a possibility? There we go. 30 million plus Asunsal for a plus two upgrade and rating in CDM. Gimarish, welcome to the team. With that, the team is ready to go, man. Look at that. That defense is looking much better now with Militao joining in with his amazing pace and defending. And then Gimarish taking over at that CDM spot is going to be a good boost to our team as well. I highly believe in that. We should be getting good results this season, man. Bottinelli hopefully goes up to at least an 84. Should be a good year, guys. It should be, technically. Our first Champions League year in Season 7. I don't think it ever took this long. January 2027. I mean, it would be quite the miracle if we can make it quite far in the Champions League. But how are we looking in the Premier League right now, guys? The manager rating is still... Not looking good. We're still in the FA Cup against Leeds United by the looks of things. Premier League football, number one. Come on, man. Win that title. Get it done, boys. It's close, though. Liverpool, United, and City chasing us down hard. And we have four losses, one draw. Let's get a few more draws, less losses. Let's do that, please. That'd be nice. But uh, the team has done really well overall so far. And the growth... We see 92 up top, 96 on that left-hand side, which is outstanding. Vinicius with the 93. 
and Lodi with the 91. Just four players above the 90 rating. A great bench, by the way. Amazing talents on the bench, just waiting to uh, to get some play time. Even Vital now up to an 85. Of course he grows when I don't need him anymore. That's interesting to see. Anyways, um, the team is looking good. It's looking good and it's performing well. Now, I want to know, are we still in the Champions League? Yes or no? That's a big question for me. Um, is this seventh season possibly? Or, yeah, is there a chance that this could be the last one? Villarreal, let's go. We're in there. We're still playing and we're still hustling in the Champions League. I love that. That is great. And just to finish things off, halfway through the season, the uh, the ratings of the, of the um, performances of the players, that's quite good from Lukinia. 20 goal contributions already. Uh, Lincoln doing well. Talis Magno, not so much, despite being 96 rated. I expect a little bit better. Vinicius doing really well. So it's looking good. It's looking good, guys. Guimaraes has had plenty of playtime as well now. 86 rated. Solid stuff. Can this team win the Premier League title and maybe the Champions League? That would be the worst team to get it done because I don't think I had this many players below 90 when we finished off a season, especially in a, 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 an entire sprint to glory, especially the goalkeeper. That's the biggest issue that's holding us back. Trust me. No way. Oh, no way. No way. No way. Wait, 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 wait. We're actually in the Champions League final. Nah. Oh my god, we're actually in it. Is this going to be the final season? Is this team actually doing it? What? How is this happening? Lincoln 93, Talis Magno 97, bro. This kid is insane. Vinicius with the 93. And the defense, it's looking solid, man. It's just a goalkeeper position. Without that goalkeeper position being so low, we easily would have done this last season, I believe. Lodi with the 91, Militao 88, Gabriel 88, Dodo 88. That's a very good defense. Probably one of the best out there for sure. Bottinelli still stuck at that 84. Yes! Apart from that though, the bench is looking solid. Let me just take a quick little look into the squad hub. Let's see who is performing. Lincoln, Lukinia, Vinicius Jr., Thales, all above 20 goal contributions. That is what you want to see. These guys are absolutely on fire right now. And they want to get this title. But have they gotten the Premier League title? That's what I want to know as well. We're up against PSG in the final. Yes, but Premier League winners. Can we get the double in season seven? Can we get it done? Congratulations to the team on winning the Premier League title. Phil Foden celebrates the FA Cup. No one cares, pal. We're in the Champions League final. So, well, here it goes, guys. We're jumping into the final. Uh, Pogba, Mbappe, um, Upamecano, Gilmore next to Pogba at PSG. Very interesting. Fersharen playing Cam for PSG. We are playing in those nice green kits. Can we get it done, boys? Oh, this is the moment you have been waiting for. Seven seasons it took us. It was much harder than I thought. I thought the sprint to glory Brazil would be super easy, but my God, I made it tough on myself. Come on, boys. Get it done. Win it all against PSG. Yes! Vinicius Jr. in the 89th minute. Getting his brace in the Champions League final. Coritiba has pulled it off. The boys have done it. Congratulations to them extremely satisfied with that victory guys we have done it beautiful scenes for our team premier league title champions league title and the team has done it with an 84 rated goalkeeper i am very happy about the fact that we have actually pulled it off there's only one player that we could have gotten here that could have initially been better arthur the center midfielder from barcelona that joined juventus that guy would have been perfect here uh, he's 88 rated already. Uh, we could have probably gotten him, to, gotten him to at least a 90 if we had him from early on. But as you guys could tell, the players that I could buy at certain levels were at the time way too expensive. We even had to wait a long time to get Dodo. So for the fact that we have gotten it done now with a couple of players that I never used before with the likes of Thales Magno, with the likes of Lukinia, with the likes of Lincoln, I am extremely happy that we have pulled it off with those likes of players and not just necessarily with all the insane Brazilian talents that everyone has. 
in their uh, in their uh, sprint to glory type uh, career modes or Brazilian talents in their team, like the Richarlison, the Rodrigos, the Antonis, the Gabriel Jesus's of this world. And I guess Gabriel Martinelli would have been nice to have him here, but it didn't work out. It's all good, though. We have done it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to look into that top left corner right now. It says smash the like. And yes, that's exactly what I expect from you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and head to the gym right now. Have a great day. Take care and peace.